1,680 miles to my destination. Oh, this is gonna be a long one. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. It's about 5.45 in the morning right now and I'm currently in Eastern Pennsylvania. Today's video is going to be an adventure in this thing right here. For this video, I've teamed up with Diamondback Truck Covers to hand deliver this brand new Ford F-250 from the East Coast all the way out to Colorado. Now, I have been set up with the task of hand delivering this truck to my friend Mike, AKA Last Line of Defense. He is teaming up with Diamondback to do some really, really cool stuff with this truck. It's a Ford F-250 Tremor and we can talk more about the truck as we're driving across the country. Now, we have snow in the forecast this morning, but luckily I do have a Diamondback HD cover on here, or I should say Mike does. We actually hand fit this cover yesterday. Everything is locked up and secure, so no water is gonna be getting in there, and this thing is solid. You can actually park two ATVs on top of this cover. That's not all though, I'm sure you guys have already noticed the 12 foot U-Haul trailer. I'm towing something across the entire country on this trip and what is inside that trailer you guys will see here in about a month. That'll be the first really big project for Psy Productions. Now I'm freezing out here. How much gas we got? 28 gallons, 75 bucks. Yep, that's topped off. I'm gonna be doing that a lot on this trip. Now for the fun part. We're looking at roughly a 25 hour drive today and probably tomorrow too. 1,680 miles to my destination. Oh, this is gonna be a long one. Now I think the plan's gonna be to sort of get a feel for the truck because this thing is pretty sick. That's my first impression so far. The sun's not coming up for uh, maybe about another half an hour to an hour. I'm gonna be rolling here at just about 6 a.m. in the morning, so I gotta keep that in mind so I know how long this actually takes. I think I'm gonna update you guys every hour or so as we're rolling across the country. I'm hoping to be out of Pennsylvania by like noon, before noon. Looks like we got 333 miles till empty. Towing a trailer, probably getting like nine miles per gallon. We're gonna be stopping pretty frequently too, so without further ado, let's get on the road. Officially one hour into this trip and I am just outside of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, which is actually where Diamondback's headquarters is. That's where I picked up this truck yesterday. So shout out to Andy and the rest of the Diamondback team. Thank you guys for tasking me with this adventure. We have 24 hours to go now, about 1,620 miles. The sun is slowly starting to come up, however, looks like it's gonna snow. I think if I stay at this pace though, I will make it out of the storm and it should be pretty smooth sailing. Number two, I'm somewhere in central Pennsylvania and it's about eight o'clock in the morning now. Visibility is getting pretty bad. I thought I was gonna drive out of this snowstorm, but it looks like I'm driving right into it on the western side of Pennsylvania. Typically storms move from the west across to the east because of the lake effect. I'm averaging actually better on fuel than I thought. I'm at about 10 miles per gallon right now. I'm just over half a tank, which means if we continue at this rate, looks like I'll end up having to stop maybe six times if I'm only stopping at gas stations. I'm still in the process of waking up. Hopefully I will be feeling better here in a little bit. And I'm gonna sort of make a game time decision later if I want to just do a straight haul, full 24, 25 hours direct to Denver, or if I wanna stop somewhere in Missouri or Kansas or something like that to rest for the night. We'll see. Thank you. 
Hour number three check-in. We are a little bit southwest of Johnstown, Pennsylvania. 9 a.m. in the morning here now. We got 22 hours until Denver. 1,485 miles. I think I'm going to be stopping within this next hour to get fuel, take a little bit of a break, and then keep on hauling. Hour number four, it's about 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am just outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, soon to be in Ohio. Looks like we got a little less than 21 hours to go, 1,419 miles. The truck is saying that I have 54 miles until empty, so it seems like I might be able to get roughly five hours per tank, which would be super nice. I'm gonna try to stretch this as long as possible, and then I will make my first stop, probably in Ohio, fill up on some fuel, maybe grab some snacks, because I do not plan on stopping until I need fuel again, and then whenever that time may be, I'm thinking four o'clock roughly, then I will stop, get some more fuel, and grab some food as well. When I make this next stop, I should probably give you guys a rundown of this truck. All right, guys, first fuel stop, or I should say second fuel stop of the trip so far. We are just outside of St. Clairsville, Ohio, working my way towards Columbus right now. Let's get a look at this truck. So this is a Ford F-250 Lariat Super Duty, and this is their Tremor package. So it's a seven point something liter V8. It's been great for towing right now, super comfortable. What's cool about this truck is the Tremor package, which is sort of like Ford's new off-road setup. So you got a beefed up suspension, you got these massive tires right here. These are Wrangler 285, 7518s. Everything on this truck is blacked out, which I of course love. These running boards here are included in the Tremor package and it has a 10 speed transmission, which is killer for towing. I really haven't towed anything super far before. This is definitely gonna be the longest that I've ever had to tow something. And the 10-speed transmission has been great. The truck itself is super comfortable, really spacious on the inside. Four doors, of course, which I have some stuff in the back seats right now. Might not be a bad place to sleep later, honestly. This thing is pretty hooked up though. LED lights, it has all of the assists all around it, turning and towing assist. It has a rock crawling mode for low and high. I believe it has a rear locker as well. So Mike, I'm delivering your truck to you, but I might just hold on to it for a couple weeks. Damn, big old gas tank on this thing. This trip is going to be pretty expensive. Thank you. Now, 10.50 a.m. in the morning, we got 20 hours and nine minutes until Denver, Colorado, 1,376 miles. That'll put us there around 5 a.m. tomorrow, mountain time. So I will update you guys in about an hour. Hour number six, we are just outside of Columbus, Ohio. It's 12 o'clock noon and we have 19 hours to go, 1,300 miles. Hour number seven now, somewhere in between Columbus, Ohio and Dayton, Ohio. It's about 1 p.m., 18 hours to our destination and 1,235 miles to go. Hour number eight, I am just on the border of Ohio and Indiana, it's about 2 p.m. We got 17 hours to go, 1,165 miles. Hour number nine, it's about 3 p.m. now, which means that we'll be at our destination in about 16 hours, I believe. Passing through Indianapolis, Indiana right now, and I'm actually gonna be stopping to get some food and fuel in about 30 minutes. This is where craziness starts to set in now, so stay tuned. <laughs> 
All right, guys. Just a little bit past Indianapolis, Indiana. Stopped at a Love's travel stop because it's easy to find parking for something like that. I'm gonna go in here and grab food. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon now. I'm gonna take about 30 minutes here and hopefully get back on the road by exactly four o'clock. We still got like over a thousand miles to go too. Hey, All right, I think we're right on time. Yeah, 3.53, I got Mountain Dew. Typically don't drink soda, but that will keep me awake until nighttime. Got chocolate chip cookies from Subway. Yes, please, thank you. May I have another? Uh, so this truck has an outlet, an AC 110 outlet that you can plug things into. So with that, of course, I'm charging my phone, but you could also charge like an iPad, a computer, or anything like that. It's kind of nice, it's like being in the van, but not. <laughs> it's not anything like being in the van. 15 hours, 36 minutes, 1,066 miles. Let's keep on trucking. Hour number 11, I believe I crossed the time zone now because it is four o'clock, so we're just gaining time, you know? I am just about to pass Casey, Illinois, which is a place that I'm going to come back and visit when I come back to Illinois in the sat van. We have about 14 and a half hours to our destination, 992 miles to go. Hour 12, it's about 5 p.m. Central Time now, and I think I'm about to be rolling through St. Louis, Missouri pretty soon, but I'm still in Southern Illinois for now. Looks like we got about 13 and a half hours until our destination, 927 miles. Hour 13, it is 6 p.m. Central Time, and I'm officially at the halfway mark on this trip. It honestly doesn't seem that bad. I mean, 13 hours is a long time to be driving, but I'm feeling way better than I did this morning. Probably won't last too long though. I got 140 miles until I need fuel again, which means I can probably go another two hours before stopping. That should put me closer to Kansas City, Missouri. And looking at the GPS, we have 12 and a half hours to go. 857 miles. All right guys, hour 14. I have something interesting going on right now. It's about 7 p.m. at night, central time still. Whenever I get below 100 miles until empty, I'll typically start looking on my GPS of where to stop. I like to stop at truck stops basically, like Love's, especially when I'm towing a trailer like this. So I found a Love's out closer to Kansas City and put it in my GPS. It says I can be there in 96 miles. Guess how long the truck says until it's empty. 96 miles. So I'm either going to be Cutting it fairly close by pulling into the gas station while I'm on my last few drops of fuel. Or I can drive really conservatively, spare some fuel because it's not good to run super low. Or maybe I'll come across another truck stop before then. It's gonna be interesting though, so next stop will definitely be fuel. Well, I made it, but technically I chickened out. I found a Love's like 70 miles closer, and I didn't feel like risking it. I'm gonna stop here, fuel up for the fourth time today, grab an energy drink, and we're gonna keep going. I'm feeling good right now, and hopefully this lasts for a while yet. I'm still in the middle of Missouri, getting closer to Kansas City. This weather is disgusting. Driving at night through Kansas in the rain, I can't think of many worse driving situations than that. Whew. Energy drink, acquired monster import. Have you guys ever had that? 
I haven't in years, but it's pretty good. I found some new features of the truck and I'm liking this thing more and more. Check out this first one. Put the key in the ignition, watch the chair. slides you up into position. And one other feature that no vehicle that I have ever owned has this feature. Right here on the infotainment screen, it still has a sticker on it. Truck's brand new, haven't peeled that off. Right here is a steering wheel heater. The steering wheel is heated and it gets super nice and warm, so that's nice. Nice touch for a very long drive. Now I'm feeling good for right now. I'm gonna hold off on the energy drink for as long as possible. Hopefully I can get into Kansas before I actually drink it. But if I remember correctly, they're super tasty. So I'm probably gonna to wanna to have some of that. Google Maps, it is 7.32, which means we are on 14 and a half hours. We have 11 hours and 23 minutes, 779 miles putting us into Denver at about 6 a.m. Let's do it. Hour 15, 8 p.m. Central Time, 11 hours to go, 754 miles. Hour 16, 9 o'clock at night, still in the middle of Missouri. I forgot how long it is to drive through this state. We have 10 hours to go, 685 miles. Hour 17, it is now 10 o'clock at night, and I'm finally in Kansas City. We got nine hours to go, 617 miles. Hour 18, 11 p.m. at night, I'm just outside of Topeka, Kansas. Yay, Kansas. We got eight hours to go, 552 miles. All right. Hour 19, I am getting close to the middle of Kansas and I am seven hours away from my destination. However, we've run into a bit of an issue. It's a little bit past midnight now. It is roughly 28 degrees and it feels super cold. It's snowing. It feels like it's been raining all day here and the roads are getting really bad, like black ice all over I-70, especially the bridges. Snow is still coming down, and most of the gas stations out here are closed. So I'm fueling up right now, so I have a full tank for the rest of the night. Doesn't look like I can get an energy drink or anything here. So I need to make sort of a game time decision here. Do I stay at this gas station? take a nap in the truck for a little while. There's not really a good place to park or I can continue on very slowly. I've been doing about 45 miles an hour on a 75 mile per hour speed limit highway for the past like half an hour now. I will keep you guys updated on what the situation is. All right, hour 20. It is now one o'clock in the morning and I made it to a tiny little rest stop, but there's no parking for RVs or trailers, people who are towing anything. So right now I'm just parked across like 10 parking spots. There's only one other car here and there's a couple of tractor trailers over here. I'm still debating what to do. The roads have gotten a little bit better because there are some snow plows rolling and they're dumping cinders and Seems like they might be putting salt down too. I did throw the truck into four wheel drive for that last little run there on the highway and it seems a lot safer than it was in two wheel drive. With all the ice and snow, it legit felt unsafe for a little while, but in four wheel drive, it feels back to the safe threshold. Now the plow trucks have been a little bit sporadic, so I think what I'm gonna do is park here for about an hour hopefully that will give the truck some time to go out there and spread some salt hopefully the weather doesn't get any worse it's not going to get any warmer obviously until the morning so for now i'm gonna continue to sit right here and try to lean the seat back a little bit and see if i can get a little bit of sleep talk to you guys in a bit all right, good morning again. It is now 2.49 in the morning and 
seems like the snow has stopped. We are going to attempt to hit the road once again. We're just gonna take it nice and easy. GPS is saying six hours and 43 minutes now, about 447 miles. Let's hope these roads are not as icy as they were just a little bit ago. All right, guys, we're back. It's a new day and I feel a hundred times better. After I woke up in Kansas, I use the term woke up loosely because I literally slept in a ball in the seat right here for, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. After I woke up and hit the road, it seemed okay at first, but then the roads got really bad. So bad to a point that the mixture of my state of mind, my mood, and the terrible driving conditions, I stopped documenting. It just really wasn't safe to do. So I ended up getting into Colorado maybe seven to eight hours after that last update. But we're here now and I'm actually sitting outside of Mike's house getting ready to deliver this truck now. I ended up making it to the van and I got about 12 hours of sleep, which was super nice. It doesn't really make up for the 30 hours of straight driving, but I fell asleep at like 5.30 p.m. yesterday and woke up at 5.30 a.m. today. So let's make a conclusion to this video and go deliver the truck to Mike and see what he thinks. What's up? Baby. <laughs> we made it. What's up, dude? Not much, man. Something freaking crazy. Long drive. Hi, Trey, you, I see you. I'm trying to film, dog. So here she is. This huh? is it, man. Uh, a little dirty. A little dirty. I was expecting it to be nice and clean. <laughs> no dings or dents, so it didn't crash, so that's good. No windshield breakage from no. not up debris. Once you get out west, though, it's. Uh, Definitely more prone, but now we're good. Fuel economy was like Very 10 bad. and a half or something like that, but it's a big truck. It's sick, man. I I really like it, yeah. It's Ooh, nice. sick beanie, dude. Yeah, thank you. You guys can buy these in my store right now. In the hoodies. I gotta get you some. You got heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, power like everything. Crazy moonroof. Yeah, I didn't even open that up. You got a bunch of switches there. I don't know what those do. I guess for accessory lights. Lucky. Massive dining bag cover on the back. Yeah, the HD. Which one do you have on your Tacoma? HD also. HD, okay. It's like half the size though, you know? This thing has been super clutch though. It was snowing and raining the entire like 30 hours out here and everything in here was super dry. Nice and sealed. Nice. Nice, you got big plans now. So now that the truck is in Mike's hands, this is where my video switches over to his video. Who knows when that'll be? It'll be sometime in the near future. Whoa, <laughs> you're putting those on? Yeah, dog. Dude, this truck is already pretty tall as it is. That's gonna be a monster truck. These are 39s. That's gonna look so sick. So you guys have seen enough of me in this truck driving across the country. I gotta give a huge thank you to Diamondback for, I guess, presenting this opportunity to me. Thanks for Mike, because he was the one who's like, wait, Talon's on the East Coast, he can just drive it out here. I was like that little meme with all the numbers and equations. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, Talon, Pennsylvania, Colorado. That's about how this happened too. It was kind of spur of the moment. I was planning on flying back, but this worked out perfectly. So you guys will see more about this truck over on Mike's channel. So go subscribe, which you probably already are. You will also see what was in the mystery trailer, and that will involve Mike too, so I'll just leave it at that for now. You guys will like it. Yeah. I'm gonna go get some more sleep, so if you guys have any questions on the truck, let me know. I spent like 2,000 miles in it, so I can probably answer anything that you guys have. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you in the next one.